Hello everyone. In this presentation, I would like to share an interesting uh, observation I just made. Remember the R Plus Play 700 uh, web app that work on Android phone as well as iPhone. It came out together with the uh, Play 7 Sun turned up system, which is the CM50 down here. But today, I'm going to use it only for holding uh, the, the camera, really. The system I'm tested, the robot so-called, is really the CM5-150 uh, down here. It have a BT-210, and the connection is here. So uh, let me explain the code a little bit. So uh, CM150 system happens to have command for the smart device already. So it's screen rotation, cam sort of connection, photo capture, and then it buzz number number three, and then we have an endless loop where if I get my hand close enough to the IR center here, it will trigger the loop for three times. So essentially, it play a lot every time it capture an, an image. That's it. It's pretty much like before. So let me put this back on again. Just time out on it. So let it run its course. Okay. So it's done running its course. So now I'm going to download that code. Okay, it's done. So there's something here right now, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to turn it off. and turn it on again to just be sure it's running a fresh code. So running right there, it's playing the law of the LLB3. So on the, I'm going to play with the dot example 3 of the Play 7 web uh, phone app. It's going to connect. Okay. So one is connecting like this, I can uh, at any time. So it's using the back camera now, so I'm going to put my hand in here, you're going to see it captured. One, two, three, four. Now you notice it, it played a lot three times, but it, you hear the dog bark. The dog is the audio item here. I think you heard it only once, uh, twice, I mean. So we can check that. Let's get back to this one here. And let's go to the uh, place where they save the image. You see, it saves only two. So, look like the timing is interesting. If somehow this loop here is done too fast on the PC side, uh, on the I mean robot side, some of the command could be lost. So, okay, let me try it again for you. So, let's go back. Do that, and then turn it off, turn it on again, play the la, I'm going in, it's connecting to the CM150, already done there, right? So if you listen, you're going to hear la three times, that means the la coming out from the CM150 three times, but the dog may be barking only twice, that means it took only two pictures. One. You heard three la with only two bark. So therefore, it took only three pictures. It's only two pictures again. So if we go back to my file, you see now there are uh, four pictures only. Okay. So let me highlight them all. I'm going to delete them. Getting ready for the next. Yeah, example. So let's go back to. So we're just getting ready there. So I'm going to pause here a little bit. I'm going to swap out a different system. Okay, I'm back. So I just swap out to a different system. This is a 904C. You know the controller on the Mini, and it's using the same. Uh, Zigbee uh, dongle. So, 
we don't have to swap anything on the phone. It's using a little IR sensor here, go to port 1 so that I can interrupt in a similar way. Let's look at code here. Similarly, I take the first picture and throw away. Uh, the mini doesn't have any buzzer, so all these things have to be commented out. I'm using port 1 now for the trigger, and I'm printing out loop three times also. So instead of the, the um, buzzer, I'm using the built-in LED, which is over here. Uh, so every time that it uh, kind of took a picture, the LED will come on. Will be exactly the same take picture, but now I'm using two seconds here. So after I take a picture and then walk the dog, and then I turn the LED off two seconds. So you gotta see the LED coming on every time I take a picture and three times. Okay, and the trigger will be here. Let's see. I need to turn it on so I can download this code. Okay, it's running now. We're getting ready. I want to make sure the LED is staying away so that I don't interfere with it. Okay, we're done with this one. I'm going to turn it off. We're done with here. All right. So let's get ready again. I'm going to turn the I know for C back on. I'm going to the place on app. It should connect. So it's connecting okay now. Okay. So let's see. Let me raise it up so that we're able to see the LED all on and off. Okay, here we go. I'm going to interrupt the uh, port number one I R. Near one box. Here yeah, in a second, okay. So you have the third one, okay. So we can get back. We go to my file, and you see, here we go. It connected, uh, collected three pictures. So it looks like the timing here is important. So where it send the command from the 904 here to the phone, the phone has to take time to take pictures, so the timing between the programming on the robot, the timing of all the services on the web phone, it will be important. So it looks like Robotics gave us a very good uh, 2017 New Year gift here, so I expect you see mounting cell phones uh, onto your Mini and other dream systems and come up with some nifty project during 2007. Happy New Year to everybody. Bye.